Thank you, Captain. Tony, congratulations. Uh, Tony will be doing her number nine speech today, which the speaker is to present a persuasive speech that combines logical support for his or her viewpoint with a strong emotional appeal. The speech should focus on the self-interest of the audience. And the speaker is going to avoid using notes if possible. Well, the if possible was in there. That was kind of the, the out of time. She did have notes up here. <laughs> But it was a complicated speech, and she had a lot of information that she wanted to present. And it was well structured, she was well organized. She had an opening, she immediately asked, do you remember your elementary art teacher? Well, at my age, I can barely remember any of my elementary <laughs> teachers, much less who taught art. But anyway, some of you did, and that, that fit in with the, the response that she was trying to get, so that was effective. And then she went into the body of her speech, to stay right up front, we need art teaching in our schools, and here's why. And she gave the reasons, bing, 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 bing. Very strong, logical approach to why we needed to, to, to do this, and why all children needed to be impacted, including those that were poor and didn't have the opportunities that some of those well-to-do children had. And in doing that, Tanya had some excellent gestures, too. When she talked to, she channeled Mrs. Doubtfire there. <laughs> Ta -da -da! She was right in our face, and we, Got, she got our attention and we were right with her, right from the beginning. She just brought us in to the speech in that way. And toward the end of the speech, and the call for action began well structured, she said, how can, she anticipated our question, you say, how can I help, how can I help? I'm going to give you five reasons. Now this is the one part of the speech, Tanya, that I think you could have perhaps structured just a little bit better to have improved it, because it wasn't clear to me when you went from point one to point two to point three. It was one long point, and I had to kind of think in my mind where it broke. And so the way to get around that is for, you had five ways to help. Number one, and you list the first way. Number two, you list the second way. And if you'd done that, then it would have been clear which all five, what five points you had. To me, you had anywhere from three to 20, depending on how I broke the sense. So I think that that would have made things just a little more effective. All in all, as far as being qualified to speak on your topic, certainly you are, you are a teacher in past life and maybe still do some of that. And it was clear you were credible up here talking about what you were talking about. And you did an excellent job of organizing your talk and presenting it in a logical manner. Now as far as the emotional appeal is concerned, perhaps I could have been a little stronger. You might have said, if perhaps the person that otherwise might break into your car tomorrow afternoon, if they were instead in an art music program, this would be benefit not only to them, but to you. So I, I thought maybe the emotional appeal could have been a little stronger. All in all, an outstanding number nine speech, and we can't wait for your grand finale, number 10, which will go to great place.